Ducks Unlimited Television is presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting in association with Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. Hello and thanks for watching Ducks Unlimited TV. I'm Ashley Ward. Welcome to the first show in an all new season. It's going to be a sensational year. In this episode, world champion goose caller Field Hundnell visits Saskatchewan for Canada geese with our old friend Grant Kuypers of Buck Paradise Outfitters. There's a sprinkling of early season mallards too across some of North America's most important country for waterfowl. We'll also find out how a federal program is providing millions of dollars for conservation, next on DUTV. You know, it seems like as a waterfowl hunter, all summer you're just waiting for waterfowl season to get here. That's why I love coming to Saskatchewan. You can come up here in September, pretty much knock the edge off. We're up here in the prairie pothole region of Saskatchewan. This is the nesting grounds, and it's the very front of the migration. So back home, it's 85 degrees and hot, and we're up here with snow, cold winds, and a lot of ducks and geese. Over the years, I've met a guy by the name of Grant Kuypers, and Grant is owner and operator of Buck Paradise Outfitters. And he's up here in northern Saskatchewan. He's a farmer, he's an outfitter, he runs waterfowl hunts, whitetail, and bear hunts. You know, I may not see Grant for two or three years or even longer, and then when I get to see him again, it's like, you know, we haven't been apart. I mean, he's literally just one of those guys that when you leave, you give him a big old bear hug, and you can't wait to see him again. The first morning hunt with Field, it's great to be back in the blind. I don't think I had an opportunity to hunt. We had a really long harvest this year, just a lot of rain delays and stuff. So I did a lot of scouting and spotting with the guides, never did go and sit in the blind and pull the trigger. So when Field showed up, we had the crop in the bin. I was excited to see him and excited to hunt with him. Take them. This is a real exciting time of year up here because these birds are really starting to congregate. They're getting in larger numbers. They're preparing for that migration south. You see some insane feeds. The lessers, the snow geese, the ducks, they're all feeding together. And as a waterfowl hunter, when you see a field with that many birds in it and that diverse of species, I mean, you can't help but get excited. <laughs> Already? Let's get him, guys. Nice. Very cool. We hunted a pea field that I had planted, and we watched this field all fall. I was just disappointed that these fields were never loading up. I don't know, October came around, they must have been waiting for field to come back and, and hunt there, and they just loaded up. Unlimited Television 
presented by Drake Waterfowl Systems, innovators in waterfowl hunting, mossy oak shadow grass blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited, and Ducks Unlimited's Rescue Our Wetlands campaign, banding together for waterfowl. Like I said, wind is one of the most important elements on having a very successful goose hunt. And on this particular day, we had a lot of wind. I don't know how strong it was blowing, but it was howling. And when those geese started flying, the very first group kind of dictated the rest of the hunt. <laughs> it's definitely one of the top hunts I've ever had. You ready, guys? And take them. <laughs> oh. That is awesome. <laughs> I love the little guys. Man. This was a very special day and even Barkley made the statement that he thought that from what he could remember, this was one of his top hunts as well. We've had a big weather change. Cold north wind, temperatures drop, clouds, strong wind. That, those are prime conditions for us when it comes to waterfowl hunting in dry fields. They just want to get out of that wind, they want to get on the ground and they want to start feeding. Probably you get three, four hunts like that in a lifetime where they just set right in. And that's what I love about this time of year. You've got cold temperatures moving in. These geese are going into this transition of have, wanting to feed heavily because they don't know what's going to happen next. I mean, you could have ice over and everything freeze up in the next few days, and these geese know that. So it's time to feed, and they're going to feed hard, which makes for great goose hunting. Probably wasn't the best hunt for video but it just happened so fast. It was fun for us the hunters. I don't know if it will make the best TV for Field and the DU guys but um, it was <laughs> it was a great it was a great hunt. I enjoyed it. Oh yeah. It's a good group. You ready? You ready guys? And take them. <laughs> That's awesome, man. And then once we were done, we'd already shot our geese, we just sat there. It looked like the sky was falling out on us. These geese started circling, and then it was almost like a funnel cloud of geese just basically just pouring right into the decoys. couldn't tell what was decoys and geese. The geese literally filled the decoys so much you couldn't tell what was what. You know, that's the highlight of the season and it's going to take a lot to beat it. One of our most effective funding sources for conservation comes from Washington, D.C in the form of the North American Wetlands Conservation Act, or NAWCA. Since 1989, this important program has provided more than a billion dollars for wetlands conservation. NAWCA is so effective because every dollar allocated must be matched by at least one more dollar from non-federal sources like Ducks Unlimited. And on average, partners contribute four to five dollars for every NAWCA dollar. To date, the program has helped fund thousands of projects on over 33 million acres in all 50 states, Canada and Mexico. Thousands of partners, including private landowners, industry, state government, and nonprofits are partnering to conserve wildlife habitat through NACA grants. Ducks Unlimited is working with Congress to reauthorize NACA for future conservation work. You can help. 
Contact your representatives in Washington and let them know that this program is important to you. Go to ducks.org today to find out more about NAWCA and DU's other conservation work. DU Insights is brought to you by Mossy Oak Properties. Find your favorite place at mossyoakproperties.com. DU TV is powered by Mossberg Firearms, built rugged, proudly American. Mossy Oak Properties, America's land specialist, Kent Cartridge, performance, quality, tradition, biologic, scientifically proven wildlife products, Higdon Outdoors, quality, customer service, innovation, that's Higdon Outdoors, and Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. snowing you actually work backwards set the blinds up to get as much snow on the blinds yeah set the decoys up last to get minimal snow on the decoys we got the blinds out of the trailer as quickly as possible and we set them up it's blowing snow and we wanted to give these blinds as much time as possible to accumulate snow and blend in with the rest of the landscape we left the decoys in the bags as long as possible so that way right before shooting time we set the decoys quickly to minimize the amount of snow that we collect on the decoys Left shoulder right over my back. Get ready, get ready. Take him. Take him. Nice. Yeah, I thought they had us busted there for a second. That one came right over the blind and then flared out looking right down at us, but I think the urge to feed got the best of them. We sat on the field and watched, you know, a lot of the lessers coming into pea field. And we just watched where they wanted to sit. They lifted a couple of times, moved around, but they kept kind of coming back. Worked out really, really well. Y'all want to take this three or wait? What are you going to do? Oh, here we go, here we go. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Get ready and... All right, take them. <laughs> oh, that was cool. <laughs> I'm glad we didn't shoot the three. Look at that, what is that? Eight yards from the blind. Oh, that is cool. More coming, look at these coming right over the hill. They're already flipping. Not quite as much wind as the first morning, but we had a little bit of snow coming down. I don't think those geese really liked that too much. Made them a little hungry, made them want to get in that field and feed. On mornings like this, when it's blowing snow, it's really jump-starting the migration. You see big numbers of geese all day long. Take them. Wow, that was cool. Yeah. 
The skeet field is probably my favorite place to get tuned up for duck hunting. During a round of skeet, you'll shoot every target you might see during a day of duck hunting, from that wood duck that comes out over your head first thing in the morning, to the incomers, to the crossing shots of ducks skirting your decoys. What I like about skeet, too, is it takes less time to shoot than sporting clays, costs less, and a lot of places you can shoot under the light, so you can shoot in the evening. Now, this field that we're on here, we're at Prairie Wildlife in West Point, Mississippi. It's an Orvis-endorsed wing shooting lodge, and they've got this very rustic setup. I love it. This might be what skeet fields look like around 100 years ago. It was invented by a couple grouse hunters, practiced the shots they got in the woods, and I think what they came up with was a great game for dove hunters and for duck hunters. And that's especially true if you shoot it the old way with a delayed target, start with the gun down, call for the bird, mount when you see it so you can practice your gun mount, practice your field shooting. If you want to hit more ducks in the fall, shoot some skeet during the summertime. Duck Gun is presented by Mossberg Firearms. Built rugged, proudly American. DUTV is brought to you by Bush Hog. Performance you can count on. Native nurseries, hand-selected, hand-grown plants for wildlife. Buck Gardener Calls, champion of champions. With closed captioning provided by Mossy Oak Shadow Grass Blades, the official camo of Ducks Unlimited. Let's see how we get our retrievers to hold those long lines to pick those distant birds that fall. First, it starts at a young age. We have Julep and Tom here to demonstrate how we're gonna get the young dog to keep a straight line. We use a straight edge. The edge of a building, perhaps, or a fence, gives the dog a psychological advantage to run straight. Dogs don't necessarily tend to wanna do that. They wanna sometimes go in serpentine fashion. We've got to get Julep concentrating on picking that bird, and we're gonna do it with a trailing memory. That means we drop the bird, walk back, turn the dog around when it's still in the fresh on the dog's mind, but line them down this straight edge. Yes, it gets the dog running straight. And then we begin to extend it further and further and further. And jilts away, straight as an arrow, through the ditch, through the water, up on the other side, makes the pick. Is she gonna come back straight? Yes, with a lot of enthusiasm. This is how you get the young pup to take those straight lines using a psychological barrier. Duck Dog with Mike Stewart is presented by Purina Pro Plan, nutrition that performs. These lessers are so much fun and they're so different than your big geese. Their habits, the way you call, the way they decoy. And these little guys can either be a lot of fun or they can be very frustrating. So when they do it in big numbers, I mean, it's literally, words can't describe it. You have to be very disciplined to not flock shoot and pick out individual birds because they're loud, they're exciting, they're just an absolute blast to hunt. Kick your waterfowl season off early, come up to Saskatchewan, hunt with Buck Paradise, and uh, you're not gonna regret it. Another thing I love about October is when you get cold temperatures and spit and snow, these birds really start to gather in a lot of the same fields. And a lot of these groups of geese, you're gonna see snows in Canada's mix. A lot of times in the year, they'll stay segregated, but when they're wanting to feed hard, they all just kind of come in together and you've got your chances at snows and Canada's. <laughs> Front and center, guys. Get ready. Take them. Lessers and big geese decoy completely different. Think of big geese as like 747s needing a runway. Lessers are almost like helicopters or ducks. They'll circle, but they will literally vertical drop into some of the smallest holes. And that's how they feed naturally. They feed in tight bunches. So we set our decoys tight with a couple holes within the spread from the land. And it works out great. Ready? 
Take them, guys. Snow, light wind, and these geese have been hunted hard. So they're not just giving it up right off the bat. They're circling and checking things out, but in the end, they're deciding to do it. The conservation efforts of Ducks Unlimited and Ducks Unlimited Canada are critical to the well-being of North America's ducks and geese. Programs like the North American Waterfowl Conservation Act provide much of the funding to get conservation work done. Please check us out at ducks.org and help us rescue our wetlands. And see you next time on Ducks Unlimited TV.